As we approach Cervical Screening Awareness Week, we take a look back at David Tennant's wife George's experience with cancer in 2018. In 2020, the actress, who met her husband on the set of Doctor Who, opened up about going for cervical screening a few years prior and discovering she had cancer. She shared a throwback snap of herself in a hospital gown from 2018 and explained how testing early saved her life. Second of February 2018. Although tis indeed a fetchy look, if you'd like to learn more about why you should never miss a smear test, please read the story attached in bio, she shared. Hashtag cervical screening awareness week hashtag smeartist hashtag cervical cancer. She also went into more detail on her journey on her blog, where she described how she felt during the colposcopy. At the time she wrote, so those of you who know me, know I like to share but those of you who don't, will know I like to keep things private. This particular private thing however, must be shared. A few weeks ago I received an abnormal smear result. Borderline changes to be exact. Before I made it up upstairs to tell my husband, I'd started planning my funeral. Having kids takes you to that place pretty quickly I find. She was booked in for a colposcopy, which is a procedure to take a closer look at a person's cervix. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mirror Showbiz Newsletter. Georgia added, he takes the biopsy. Man that hurt. But I now realize I'm in a slightly different world. I can't tell whether it's this or the smarting cervix but I start to cry. It's not cancer he says. But neither is it borderline okay so it's not cancer. That's great. What everyone wants to hear, surely. So why am I crying? Clothed again I sit in front of him. He tells me how terribly hard it is for a woman when something goes wrong in the area which makes her a woman. My results finally come through. I have what's called SIN2, free cancer. I've had what's called a cervical excision. This removes a section of the affected cervix which should in the 97% of all cases, solve the problem. Fingers crossed, I'm fixed. Sorted. Two weeks later, the star returned to her blog to issue an update and explain she did in fact have cancer. She wrote, the lovely doctor called yesterday. Results are bad. It was cancer. They've got it all but it was cancer. My betraying little cervix had begun an attempt to kill me off and by a stroke of baffling luck I had stopped it, beat it, and cut it out before it had a chance to make it out of the starting gate. Survived cancer without ever realizing I had it. As you can tell I'm still processing this, it's quite a thing to get your head around. Georgia shared her story in hopes of encouraging others to attend a cervical screening and regular checkups. Cervical Screening Awareness Week 
calls between June 20th and 26th. Cervical cancer is usually found through a routine pap smear. During this procedure, your doctor will collect a sample of cells from your cervix in order to check for abnormalities. Webselectsmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 207 29